things are tight. So if we're gonna do this project, we gotta do it with things that we got laying around. And what do we have laying around here on the homestead? We have rocks and we have sand. Ah, oh, rocks, nature's bricks. I've built a lot of stuff out of rocks out here and I find the best thing to start with is a good soaking. Now we're making a mortar mix out of four parts sand and one part Portland cement. I've just found that works the best with the volcanic ash that we have out here. Tell you what, cooking for a large family is exhausting. And when you don't have an oven, Everything has to be cooked in a pan, which also is very exhausting. And doing that for a mini dinner party every night, I guess it's all just exhausting. <laughs> this may be a good time to mention that if you didn't see our junk pile build video, you probably don't know what that black ring is. I'll put a link in the corner to that video. Check that one out and then come back and watch the rest of this one. Or if you like a good mystery, don't. Just stay here and watch till the end and I bet you'll figure it out. You know, sometimes it just feels good to use the trowels you were born with. I thought it was really adorable watching Brooklyn help Jason. Um, Seattle got in there and helped. Even the boys helped. And when we're doing a project and everybody is with us and working in some capacity, even if it's just a little bit or a small amount of what they can do, I love it. You can easily put a radius on round stock by just bending it every couple of inches on something that's rigid. I think there's something poetic about using a 450 horsepower SUV to jumpstart a generator. I've had a number of people ask me, what's that rusty red contraption you're using to bend that round stock? Does that answer your question? <laughs> I couldn't get too far into the video without doing some mud mixing ASMR. You know, for the fellas. Found out in the past that if the rocks are dry, the mortar ain't gonna stick. It's a natural law. Here comes Inspector Merlin judging me. I wanted to build in a little extra support, and I had a roll of this no barbed wire laying around, and I think it's gonna work perfectly. We once had a big old chunk of mortar fall off of the inside of our old stove, so I figured this chicken wire will help with that. I also figure any of the coating is either going to be encased in mortar or it's going to burn off the first time we get the oven up to temperature. I just wanted to take a quick second to say you don't have to subscribe to our channel. 
but it'd be a lot cooler if you did. There's nothing that won't bend with the appropriate amount of leverage applied. Now it's an arch. I love seeing it come together. Seeing those walls come up, seeing the top go on, we had a nice dome, it was supported, and then covering it up, pretty cool. Sweet. Due to the steel reinforcing, or maybe it was just laziness, I figured I could just shovel on a bunch of mortar and make sure that it got all the way down in between all the rocks. Seems to be holding. A trick I use to cut perfect angles and angle iron is to put them in a 90 degree vise and cut them right down the center. They weld up perfect every time. I'll tell you what, this is hard work. Mixing that mortar, which I only did like a couple of, maybe one or two, half of them. Yeah, Jason's a beast. Because <laughs> after the first one, I'm like, really, we're gonna keep doing this? <laughs> Marrying up these outside rocks to the doorway was kind of tricky, but we figured it out. We also made the doorway and the top of the inside of the oven at a ratio of 1.6 to 1, so if we didn't want to burn gas, we could still burn wood for the heat source. That ratio allows for the smoke to escape and the optimal amount of oxygen to get in. All right, we're gonna do a little test burn. We're not gonna get it up to temperature because uh, all the mortar needs to um, cure and all of that stuff, but I just wanna see how it's gonna work. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit worried about this first burn. I figured pumping propane into an enclosed space and then lighting it with a lighter, probably a good way to melt my face off. So I used this paper as a way to start the propane the first time, but it wasn't necessary. Cool. See, we learned something. Test burn number two, we found out that some uh, mortar had made its way down into the into the burner. So I used this little tool right here. Light of some kind. You going cave diving? That guy in a little cave. <laughs> Poked them all out. Let's see if it works now. Like most men who have ever seen flames shooting out of something that they built, I was pretty proud of myself. But something wasn't right. The color of the flames was all wrong, and unless I wanted my food to look like a coal miner from the turn of the century after a double shift, I was going to need to do something about that soot. I handled my initial defeat the way any man would when his invention didn't work the first time, and got up knowing I needed to hit the books. I had created a burner that was making carbonizing flames rather than neutral or even oxidizing flames. Always remember to put your tools away when you're done with them so you know where to find them when you need them again. I was going to need to rely on my skills as a blacksmith. <laughs> Once again. So here's something that I know about Jason is when he puts his mind to something, he is gonna get it done. It doesn't always work the first time. Or even the second time. But that's pretty much how everything is in the history of everything. When you're trying something for the first time and you haven't done it before. He'll keep tweaking it and messing with it until 
you can get it to work. Having an oven would mean, as probably most people know, that you can make a lot of food very easily at one time while sitting and doing something else. It may surprise you to know that I didn't need that entire piece of angle iron. I only needed the hole. This was going to be the brace for my burner that was going to allow oxygen to get in and mix up with the propane and give me the right color flame. Now, I don't know if you can tell or not, but that pipe is a little off center. I did that on purpose because as the weld cools, it's going to move right into place. You know how I knew it would do that? Magic. Here's the thing, if I don't know what the temperature is in there, I can't test it properly. So I'm going to steal this thermometer off of the broiler side of the barbecue because I only use that to boil water. <laughs> and I know what temperature water boils at. I know what to do. Ha! This will work great as a temporary door until I can get some hardwood together or maybe even some steel and make something nice. Let's do a test burn with the new burner. What we're looking for is less of the orange to red flame and more of the blue to like light orange. That would be a more neutral flame, somewhat on the oxidizing side of the spectrum. And that's what we want. It's a lot of heat. Um, and that's what we need in this. Like a kid on Christmas, finally getting to open the big gift under the tree. I was so excited to see what would happen. I was also a little afraid that my new mixture of propane and oxygen would cause this thing to explode. But I have a beard, so I can't show that kind of emotion in public. It's in the bylaws. <laughs> Success! It was working perfectly. So basically we're gonna cook our food from now on in a forge. And see how there's no black soot coming out? That's because it's no longer a carbonizing flame, it's an oxidizing flame. It's awesome. You think it's gonna cook pizza? I think it's gonna cook delicious pizza. And chickens. <laughs> and casseroles. Turkey. And turkeys. My boy, you're on the ground. <laughs> so the real question is, will it cook? I hope so. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, and for it to really cook well, there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be done still. We need to do an insulation layer, and I thought of a way to finish it that is not only practical, but is also whimsical. But until then, check out one of these. Love ya.